uh, to New Jersey, uh, we're going to be passing through the Lincoln Tunnel, which is the, uh, the tunnel that Tony passes through on his way in the opening credits, on his way back from New York to New Jersey. see Barone Sanitation from the outside too often, uh, but we'll see it. We see it in season one, episode one. Hey, Tony, I just heard from Triborough Towers. The Kohler brothers withdrew their bid. That's, That's good. That's good. It's good. Oh, listen, by the way, Artie Bucco's here to see you. I gotta go, guys. Take care. I'll see you, babe. In season two, we see it. Uh, Big Puss gets a call from his FBI handler, and he uh, walks out onto his porch. Jesus Christ, let me think. You wake me up. Heads all cobwebs. Yeah, and we see this huge view of the of the cemetery there. And it's sort of foreboding because a couple episodes later, Big Puss does end up dying. Uh, he's not buried here though, he's buried at sea. <laughs> and actually, uh, if you look further to your left, uh, there's a white house there with a black roof. It's a little hard because of the trees, but that's the actual house they would have used. Coming up, we're gonna be seeing the Skyway Golf Course. Uh, the Skyway Golf Course was used uh, basically any time in Season 1 you see Tony um, playing golf, uh, he was more than likely there. actually where uh, Tony and Furio, uh, they sort of go and intimidate the doctor, they push him into the lake, they're like, oh, you have a bee on your head, and they, Furio uh, pushes him in. You know, my uncle, he's not doing so well. He's got a bad reaction to that chemo. That happens all the time. There's nothing that I, I can really do. You got a bee on your head. Actually, one of the first times we get to see Furio really in action. And uh, coming up on our right, we're gonna see the uh, we're gonna see the water, and we're gonna see marshes in the water. And uh, those marshes were actually used for the season five promotional poster, right down here. And we see Tony uh, standing in the mud with uh, Tony B, his, uh, his cousin, who got out of prison that season. Um, and there's this bunch of bodies sort of buried in the mud there. This, uh, this bridge we're passing on right now, actually, you may not recognize it, but it was, in fact, used in the show. Uh, it's used in the season four finale. Uh, we see it when, um, when Tony puts out the hit on Carmine Lupertazzi, but then they cancel the hit, and he tells Chris to make sure nobody knows about it. Uh, Chris ends up assassinating the two guys he hired to do the assassination right underneath this bridge. He ain't quit. He's just freshening up. Don't say jack shit to Kaisha about this, or she'll be haunting my ass for that child. So... This over here, this uh, this building used to be uh, called the Skyway Diner. 
uh, with, with the brick and the blue building, the blue uh, windows. Um, and it was actually, uh, it was actually used for the scene in season two where uh, Chris gets shot. Yeah, you call me? Oh, get the fuck out of here. I'm supposed to go all the way over there to check on a fucking ramp? Yo, Christopher, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? Get that motherfucker! Get him! Seatbelt! Fucking seatbelt! Yes! What? Just a second on our right. Oh, some of you might be able to see it now, actually. I can. But uh, there's those five rusty smokestacks. Uh, yeah, so those show up in the opening credits of the show. We, uh, we see a very distinct shot of them uh, being focused on. This area we're passing through actually was also used. Um, this is a bit, a bit of a bonus location. Uh, this was used for the opening scenes of the Karate Kid uh, before he moves to California. Yeah, actually, down on our right here, to the street here, that's actually the street they would have filmed at. Yeah. It's a stagey school here. It actually, it's, in real life, it's now a middle school. It was a high school at the time that they shot there, um, but now it's a middle school. The show for Big Puss's Auto Shop. It's a legitimate business. Um, we see it throughout season two, um, also after he dies. In season five and season six, his wife Angie takes it over and it actually ends up being kind of successful. This engine in speech right here, uh, it actually used to just be a parking lot. And we see it in season two, Big Puss meets his FBI handler right there, uh, Skip. Oh, yeah. uh, which you think would be kind of silly. Why would you have a meeting with your FBI handler right here? You got your legitimate business where all your gangster friends might be showing up right over there. Now you wouldn't know in the shot because when they filmed it, they had an orange semi-truck parked, give or take, right here on this driveway, um, completely blocking any view of the tire store. convincing pork store we live right here. Um, the residents of this area, this is called Carney, uh, the neighborhood we're in right now, um, they were very uh, excited when they when the store was there because they got in the This um this side of the parking lot actually was the Satrials parking lot and it was used in the show for a couple of important scenes. Uh, in season one, if you remember the season finale uh, Artie Bucco finally finds out that his restaurant was burned down by Tony. Um, and he he uh, comes to the driveway, he meets Tony here, and he pulls out his deer rifle. Um, and he, you know, interrogates him. He says, like, did you burn down the restaurant? And Tony obviously talks him down. Uh, but that conversation occurs over here. And actually, you can see the fence is the same, and the houses are actually very similar. in the show. Uh, this alleyway here is used in season two. It's another location that Big Puss meets his FBI handler, Skip. Um, and it does lead us to the second blooper that I promised from the show. Um, now in the scene that they shot here, uh, it's raining in the shot, so they actually got the firehouse to run, up, run their hose over, and that's how they got the rain for the scene. And this is how they ended up with the blooper, unfortunately. 
uh, because you can see that the rain is hitting the car very harshly uh, while Skip is inside of it, and then you see Big Puss enter the car. Big Puss is completely dry because the hose is only hitting the car, and uh, Vincent Pastor is probably standing out on the side right here, uh, not getting wet by it. Uh, so you can see his jacket is completely dry in the seat. And that is our second blooper. that says Sopranos right at the front. Alright guys, let's uh, head towards the bus over there. 